Hello and welcome back, this is Sean from Cornerstone and in this video we will be taking a look at the Avaya 1X phone. Alright, so to get it set up we're going to have to go ahead and get into our Citrix desktop. So to do so we have to go ahead and open up a browser. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And using the button that we created during the Citrix setup video, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Citrix login page. So here at the Citrix Access Gateway, we're going to go ahead and use our network credentials. So I'm going to use the example account, Mr. John Doe. So I'm going to go ahead and put in J Doe for the username. And I'm going to use his password. All right, so what happens when you sign into Citrix? Phone Factor calls your cell phone because we set that up as our primary number. So we're waiting for the call here. Just one second. All right. There's the call. Phone Factor. Please enter your PIN, followed by the pound sign, to complete your authentication. All right, I'm going to put in my four-digit PIN, followed by the pound sign, and I'm going to hang up my cell phone because we don't need it anymore. All right, and uh, at the end user agreement, go ahead and hit I agree. And as you can see, it took us straight here instead of stopping us at the green button install screen because we already installed the Citrix receiver. So from here, we're going to go ahead and open up our Citrix desktop. So we're going to go ahead and click here. And after the desktop loads, we are going to be looking for the Avaya 1X agent icon, which is going to be on the left side of the screen. So one second while this loads. And there we are. And if you look over here to the left side underneath Ace, we are going to open up the Avaya 1X agent. So we're going to double click here. And in one moment, the welcome screen is going to populate. There it is. And then there are three buttons at the bottom. Go ahead and click on change login settings. So in this window, we have three tabs. We have telephony, agent, and IM. We don't have to worry about IM, but we do have to worry about telephony and agent. So you can see in this on this tab, there are a couple different fields that need to be filled in. And then we also need to change a couple fields as well. So the first one that you will see is extension and password. For this, it is asking for the station ID uh, that you should have received in the welcome email. So the station ID, in short, you have a station ID and you have an agent ID. The difference between the two are that the station ID registers your landline telephone with our system. So it establishes that connection so that our system sees that you have a connection with the Avaya 1X system. Your agent ID ties you, yourself, your name to this system so that it can see that you are signing in on this, this station. So that's the difference between the station ID and the agent ID. The station ID, once again, registers your phone to the system. Your agent ID registers you to the system. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my station ID. So one second here. So go ahead and put your station ID here, or your station extension. And then the password is always going to be the same thing as what you put in the extension field. So I'm going to go ahead and put that same number in the password field. So 09837. So I have 09837 in the extension field, 09837 in the password field. So since we're working from home, we don't have a desk phone like those in the call center. So we're going to change this to other phone. So we change that to other phone. And when you do that, it presents us with another hidden field. So here is where we are going to put in your landline telephone number. Now there are some specific details about your telephone number that you're putting in here that we need to go over real quick. Number one, if you are in the 513 area code, so if you are in the greater Cincinnati area, you do not need to put in your area code. So as an example, I'm just going to throw this out here. If you live in the 513 area, you just put a 9 and then followed by the 7-digit phone number. So let's say 782 four, five, six, one, six, nine. So that would be an example of a phone number that you would put in if you are in the 513 area code. Now, if you are a Columbus agent, a Dayton agent, somebody who is signing in from Southern Kentucky or something, you would have to do something a little bit different. It would be 91 followed by the area code. So let's say 937 and then your seven digit phone number. So once again, to recap real quick, if you are in the 513 area code, you just put the number nine followed by your phone number. If you are outside of the 513 area code, you put nine, then one, 
and then your three digit your three digit area code followed by your seven digit phone number. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and put in my number real quick. All right. So we are done with the telephony tab. We're going to go to the agent tab. And right here where it says agent, this is where you are going to put in your agent ID. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my agent ID. And once again, for the password, it is the same thing that you put in the agent field. So 09590. I'm going to go ahead and check this box. So it saves the password. So in recap, we have under the telephony tab, the station ID, which we have here, the station ID again for the password. We have this changed from desk phone to other phone. And then you have your telephone number, your landline telephone number established here. And then under the agent tab, we have our agent ID. And once again, our agent ID for the password. And we checked the save password during sign-in box. So after you're done with both of those things, we're going to go ahead and select save settings and log in. All right, so that's pretty much it for the technical side of the Avaya One X phone setup. Next up is how to get signed into your phone and how to use your Avaya One X phone. So on your screen, you can see that there is a login window. This is actually the first of two login windows that you're going to see every single time you sign into the Avaya One X phone. So the first one is for your station ID. The second one is going to be for your agent ID. So here on this login window, we have to just make sure that what we already entered before during the change login settings box is our station ID. So 09837 is Mr. John Doe's station ID, and the same thing is entered in the password field. I'm going to go ahead and hit login, and it's going to take us to the next one, which is for your agent ID. So John Doe's agent ID is 09590, and the same thing is entered in the password field. So that is all squared up and ready to go. What is going to happen when we hit the login button is the Avaya One X phone is going to give your landline a phone call. When it calls your landline, you're going to answer that call and you are going to hear a tritone or a series of three beeps. Once that happens, you will know that you have established a connection with Avaya. So do not hang up the phone. Keep the phone off the hook until you are done with your shift. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and run through that with you so you can kind of see it. But uh, in short, that is what's going to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and put this into action so you can see it working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the login button, and it is going to call my landline. And we are just waiting for this phone call. There's the phone call. I'm going to see if I can get this tritone for you. All right, and there's the tritone. All right, now that we're finally signed into the Avaya One X phone, there are only a couple more things that we need to go over before the setup has been completed. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is add some interactive buttons. So we're going to go to the system options, which is over here on the right side. It looks like three little lines and a down facing arrow. So click there. Go ahead and open up agent preferences. Inside of agent preferences, we are going to user interface. So click user interface. And down at the bottom, go ahead and click on select favorite buttons. In this list, we are looking for auto in, so check the auto in box, and we are also looking for after call, so go ahead and check that box as well. Once you're done, you can see auto in and after call. Go ahead and click OK. Click OK once more, and you will now see these two buttons have been added to your interface. The auto in button is designed to go ahead and grab the next available call, and the after call button was designed to give you a little bit of extra time while you're on a call if you need to add some order notes. Next, I'm going to go over a couple more features, and then we are going to talk about what is needed for the first day of training class. The first thing that I want to show you is the contact list. To access the contact list, all you have to do is click on this little book looking icon, and it's going to come up with our 14 preloaded contacts. To add a contact, all you have to do is hit this plus sign, and you can fill in the blanks. The next thing I want to show you is the, the search contacts or the search bar in general, or you can use this as how you dial a phone number. You can actually enter in a extension here, and all you have to do is hit enter, uh, or you can actually dial the full phone number and hit the enter button on your keyboard as well to dial the phone number. So the Avaya One X phone is probably one of the biggest parts of the setup. It's one of the most important things for day one, and we need to go over a couple of different things on what you'll have to do when you sign in for training class on the first day. All right, so let's say it's the first day of training class, and there's a couple things that you need to do after you get signed into your Avaya One X phone. So immediately after signing into your Avaya One X phone, you want to change your auxiliary status. By default, it's set to 
auxiliary default. So to change that from auxiliary default to auxiliary training, which is what they want you to have it set as, you click on this yellow button. When you click on that yellow button, you go to auxiliary and you select option five, which is training. So that is done. The next thing that they will want you to do is call into the conference bridge. Now, a big mistake that a lot of people tend to make on day one of training class is they will call into the conference bridge using their cell phone or their landline phone. We really, 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 really cannot stress enough that you need to call into the conference bridge on your Avaya 1X phone. So on day one, you need to get signed into Citrix. Phone Factor will call you, you'll authenticate, you'll get into your Citrix desktop, you'll go ahead and load up your Avaya 1X phone, you get signed into Avaya 1X, and after you're signed into the Avaya 1X phone, you will use the Avaya 1X phone to call into the conference bridge. So that's where we're at right now. You sign into your Avaya 1X phone, you change your auxiliary status to training, and then you will enter in the conference bridge number there on your keyboard. So just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and add in a conference call number. You'll go, you'll go ahead and hit enter. It'll start calling the conference bridge. And then the, the operator will tell you that you need to put in a conference code. Now, the only time that you are going to use your desk phone for things such as these is, is right now, for instance. It's going to ask you for a conference code, but you don't use your your keyboard, you're actually going to use your desk phone. So you're going to use your desk phone to put in the conference code followed by the pound key, which will join you into the conference call. And that is pretty much it for the Avaya 1X training. The last thing I do want to show you is how to sign out properly from your Avaya 1X phone. So to sign out at the end of your shift or at the end of training uh, or at the end of the day, you all you have to do is go to the little yellow symbol, go to auxiliary, go down to end of shift, and then click on the yellow button again. Click log out. Your phone will make a couple beeps and then you'll go and you will select this button over here and hit station disconnect and then you can go ahead and X out of it. That concludes our Avaya 1X setup video. Uh, that was a lot of information to take in so if you need to watch it a second or a third time please feel free. Once again my name is Sean and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.